Hey guys, just jumping right into it. We're gonna unbox this engine, complete engine overhaul kit that I got online. Has low compression pistons included in it. So we're gonna try to take the compression ratio down a bit. Do a quick unboxing here. I'll get all the good stuff out. All right, so here it is opened up. It's a pretty extensive kit here. Full engine overhaul, so it has uh, new piston heads, the lower compression. The only thing you will be reusing is the rods as well. So we'll actually get to see how much the stock rods can handle because everyone has some debates on the stock rods being the next thing to go, but these things got put through a lot of abuse and like that piston didn't have a good time, but this rod still looks perfectly fine. So we're gonna reuse those and give you the new bearings for the rods, give the new head bolts, there's stuff like your rear main seal. Uh, I don't know, different seal here, front seal, I'm not even too sure, but I'm sure I'll find out. Gaskets for absolutely every piece of the motor, every coolant uh, O-ring or whatever. Gives you the whole valve cover, the valve cover seals there too. Gives you all of the exhaust gaskets as well. Those ones are shitty to find and replace. Gives you whatever this little thing is, I'm sure that's very important. Got one of those. So yeah, all the good stuff. Gives you all your valve stem seals, which is nice. So we'll be pretty much sealing absolutely everything up. See so new gaskets for your valve tronic. Actually, this is kind of a lot nicer than what was on mine. Mine didn't really fit the valve tronic in at all. I don't know where mine is, but yeah, it's garbage compared to that, so it looks really nice. So I'll be doing a review for this company, and then not that they gave me this for free or nothing like that, but I got a couple percent off. So we'll see how good this does, and hopefully we can run more boost with these bad boys. I'll take a quick look. Ooh, that's so nice and shiny. I'll take a quick look at one of these. So that's what everybody wants to see. Here we go. all one-handed. Yeah, let's check it. Ooh, shiny. It's already got your rings in there, which is kind of nice, but kind of crappy because I don't know what these are gapped to. Because I plan on gapping these a little more than stock because I want to run a little more boost. It looks like a nice piston overall. It's pretty lightweight. But yeah, decent construction, no cracks or anything like that. I'm gonna say this is aluminum for sure. Let's test see if it sticks on that. Yep, that is an aluminum piston head. So that's kind of nice. Can't wait to get that bad boy in here. And yeah, I'll keep you guys updated. If you wanna actually see the whole process and all that stuff, even though it's filmed in my basement on my iPhone, you know, we can totally do all that stuff. Got everything laid out here. I know a lot of people like to talk smack because I don't got this awesome shop and everything's not super clean and all that stuff, but really none of that matters. I put together motors in shittier spaces. At least this time I have a concrete floor. So anyways, you want to see this go up and you want to see at least 18 pounds of boost minimum on this unit. Holding hard. Keep tuned into the channel. Maybe click a like and subscribe. I don't get paid for this, so I have a link to a buy me a coffee thing. So if you guys want to see more frequent videos, because obviously these parts aren't free. This took me a long time to save up for this. Ergo, why nothing's been posted for months on my channel. So if you want to see more frequent content, awesome, better burnouts, whatever, feel free to hit that link, follow that instructions, don't eat me coffee, and then, yeah, hopefully we can get more stuff going and get some sick boost of this unit. See how good these connecting rods are. Because I'm thinking 20 pounds, they're going to love it. All right, till next time, guys. Bye.